Hello cave dwellers, here's a simple question, can we use our PCI cards in a PCI Express slot? Natively, of course the answer is no. There is however a solution, apparently, in the shape of this PCI to PCIe adapter card. And today we're going to take a look at it, test it out, and see if it's worth the whole £7 it cost me on eBay. Here then is our eBay listing, an internal PCIe Express single slot to PCI 32-bit adapter card bridge. A oh, I give up. It's a long title. But basically it says it's compliant to PCIe 1.0 standard. That means it should give a throughput of up to 256 megabytes per second in comparison to PCI's 133 megabyte peak transfer rate, therefore giving us more than enough throughput plug a PCI card into the PCIe slot. Right, I hope that will make sense. But at this price, I'm going to need a lot more persuading that it's actually going to work. So let's take a closer look at the card and see how we get on with it. The build quality of the card, it's very cheap and it shows it's built around an AS Media ASM1083 chip, which is specifically designed to enable users to connect legacy parallel bus devices, i.e. PCI, to the advanced serial PCI Express interface. The traces connecting the slot to the board are understandably larger than normal to allow for the stresses that come with plugging cards in and out of the slot. They still however look like old fillings from a dentist's to me. It's really not a great finish. Once in the slot you'll notice our next problem. The adapter only accommodates a half height PCI card. The height of the adapter itself means it's simply not possible to squeeze a full height PCI card into your standard case slot, and that makes it extremely limiting. But for the purpose of testing, and as we're not using a case today, I'm going to remove that metal bracket and test it out with some full height PCI cards just to see how compatible it is and what we can achieve with it. With the bracket removed, our first test is with the sound card. It's an Ensonic ES1371 card, and we'll be testing this with Windows 10. The idea being, if we can find a retro purpose for a modern motherboard with a modern operating system and compatibility for these older PCI cards. Our old sound card slots into the adapter, which in turn plugs into the motherboard and then requires an additional 5 volt Molex power supply plugged into it. A quick check in device manager shows that the card is correctly detected. A new multimedia audio controller with both the correct vendor and device ID are identified, but what Windows 10 doesn't have for us is a set of drivers to actually make the card work. And herein lies the problem that we will repeatedly come across trying to use old hardware with modern Microsoft operating systems. The driver support just isn't there to make the devices work. The alternative then is to use a non-Microsoft operating system, but that doesn't help me with my interest in retro MS-DOS gaming. Or another option is to install an old operating system, such as DOS or even FreeDOS, which may natively support the devices or allow us to use older drivers. But both of those options are easier said than done. They both warrant an entire series on their own to assist you in actually installing them on modern hardware. For example, the expanded memory manager required to load the sound drivers in DOS just fall over at the site of modern hardware, and it's very hit and miss as to whether you'll ever get that working with your setup. In conclusion then, can you plug a PCI card into a PCI Express slot? Yes you can. Can you use it? Well, can you get the drivers for the operating system you're using and the PCI card you have? It really does just come down to the software and given that limitation of needing to use a half height PCI card, you're probably better off just buying an older motherboard and doing it the old fashioned way. That's been the seven pound PCI to PCIe adapter I don't think it warrants any more of our time, do you cave dwellers? Take care.